Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play God. Today, I've left Anchor Watt, and I've made my way back to Pokin Cabin to check on I, see how she's doing. Also, uh, last time we got level 3 chakras, so I do want to go over that. We also got Anchor Equipment, the sword and the armor. I went ahead and I equipped uh, that stuff on Gem. So let's go over the chakras real fast. Let's see so I can actually see what they do. I have to go into the equip menu. So this one restricts the enemy psycho. It's like a stop spell, but it affects one enemy, so not all that hot. Uh, let's see right here, battle stun. This can come in very handy, like if you're level grinding against a monster that uh, either runs away or has like a really powerful attack, you can use battle stun and make them skip their turn. So that can come in very handy right here. Uh, let's see about my, uh, mental stream. Yeah, you can exchange your MP and an ally's MP. So let's say that Mina has like zero MP. She can exchange it with somebody like Heath, who has tons of MP, but he never really uses it. Time control. This is pretty nice. Um, let's say that you're fighting a monster that's like really weak to ice, and Mina has like the best ice spells. So you can have her time control, steal other people's turns, and then just blast the crap out of the enemy with ice over and over and over again. Uh, Geoplasma. This one's kind of a weird bird. Uh, you absorb thunder, and then I guess if you get attacked by a thunder elemental attack, you would then absorb that, gain the HP, and then, um, like, counterattack with that thunder damage against the enemy. So, yeah, but then again, if an enemy is using thunder, more than likely they're probably strong to it. And we have Sing Sing, raise a song, or sing a song and raise your status. So that could come in handy, like a self buff, I guess. And then finally, bodyguard. Oh, okay, this would be really nice for Heath to just tank and draw all physical hits. So yeah, some nice stuff there. If I don't talk to the people here, that's because they don't have anything else to say. Yeah, uh, just pe basically the people outside have different stuff to say, and I, of course. Yeah, she seems. Okay. I didn't realize that she was, like, on complete bed rest. And you would think, you know, nine months? Like, it does seem like it hasn't been that much time, but... Then again, I mean, if they l are literally walking from Russia to China, and then from China down to Cambodia, I would imagine that would take quite a bit of time. Oh, yeah, that is true. She is rather powerful. But we have your replacement. It'll be fine. Yeah, maybe she'll join us after she has the kid or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, do you have anything else to say, Doc? Oh, yeah, we're fine. So anyway, I'm just going to get on out of the cabin and meet you down in uh, Hanmaka City for going to the Bless Base. Well, here we are. Oh, what's going on? Oh, hey, Mr. Postman. You got a letter in your bag for me? Why are you laughing? Um, okay. Oh, for Heath. Huh. Oh, but we just saw her. Huh. You really have to wonder how long it does take to, to traverse this world map if I had time to write a letter and send it away to the post office and all that stuff in, like, the two seconds that it took me to walk from Poking Cabin down to Hanmaka City. Oh, okay. What is it? Oh. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> that's nice. I like it. Okay. Oh. Get up these stairs. Let's go. Oh, wait. It's kind of hard to see those doors. You know, they kind of blend in with the background there. Well, let's just head on over straight to the uh, blessed base here. Hey there, guys. What's going on? Hurry up. Now here he says your actions today. So, yeah, you would think that, okay, so I walked from Cambodia over to Pokemon Cabin, down here in one day, yet she wrote a letter and had it delivered 
I, I don't know. I don't know. I can't keep track of all the time here. Oh. Okay. Oh, we get some more notes that I don't really care about. Okay. Hey, awesome! How convenient! So that train's supposed to go straight from Vladivostok to Moscow, so that'll be nice. Yeah, have anything else to say? And you monk. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who you are, but you're just some monk. Oh, okay. Well, when you put it that way, it seems like uh, it's not going to take that much time to... Um, Explore the entirety of the world since I've already gotten almost half of the Godstones, and I've only in East Asia. I mean, I still have all the rest of Asia, Africa, Australia, Europe, North and South America, and, um, yeah, I've already gotten, what, 40% of the Godstones? So, yeah. Oh well. Ha <laughs> Guilty as charged! Yeah, what can I say? But there is no way to play this game in English on a uh, actual console. Oh. Well, yeah, well, what is it? Wow. If you don't get this reference, um, Earthbound was actually called Mother 2 in, um, in Japan. Yeah, it's known as the Mother series, so Mommy 2, yeah, Earthbound. We get the reference game. You don't have to, like, stuff it down our throat. We get that this game is highly influenced by Earthbound. Yeah, you guys really aren't doing much of anything. Oh, hey. What's this guy with the big ass doing? These guys really do look like they have huge asses. Like, like, like look at his sprite right there. It's enormous. It's bigger than his head. Oh, hey, yeah. Things are looking up in the world. Awesome. Oh, yeah, it'd be such a Debbie Downer. Well, good for you. Yeah. Really? Actually, they kind of are. And this girl has some new dialogue as well. Oh, thanks. Yeah, so, uh, anyway, now we need to head on over towards Vladivostok, and I'm just gonna meet you there. Wait, whoa, what's going on here at the Pokin Cabin? Oh no, I is I okay? Oh no, yikes! Yeah, let's walk at a glacial pace! You know how that enthralls me. <gasps> I, is she, is she... Dead? Oh my god. So first we have the first of a uh, pregnant lady in a JRPG, and then a pregnant dead lady in a JRPG. Oh my... Oh, this is awful. Oh, poor Heath! But she died protecting everyone. Wow, this must have happened a long time ago if her body's already cold. Well, how long does it take for a dead body to go cold? I would imagine a couple of hours. Yeah, you guys really are completely useless. Oh. Yeah, he might get himself killed, too. Okay, but let's also talk to people. Hey there. Yeah, and we can't actually enter the cabin because this guy's dead body is blocking the way. It's pretty unfortunate. Oh. Looks like all the flowers here are dead, though. It looks like the whole place was just raised to the ground. So it looks like I's never, never 
joining back up with us again. Oh, that's just terrible. Well, where'd Heath go? Huh. Well, he's definitely not out this way. Yeah, I went out the wrong exit. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but yeah, you actually can't find Heath anymore. He's just kind of vanished. So, um, we pretty much have been told to go up to Vladivostok, so that's where I'm going to finally meet you. Well, we finally made it here. What? Oh, okay. So we don't have a lot of time, but we still need to run around and talk to people. Why not? Yeah, that was your own stupid fault. Who stays out in a Siberian winter in, like, underwear? Like, really? This guy has issues. Oh, a huge UFO! Uh-oh. Huh, we're gonna have to, uh, follow up on that. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 he is. Get over here. <gasps> oh, you're kidding. Okay. So, at least we have a clue as far as where Heath went to, so let's head on the station and maybe buy a ticket. Well, yeah, that is the plan. Probably! If things change this much to the east, they probably change a lot to the west as well. Yeah, I don't think so, but maybe. Um, Europe and Moscow and the rest of Russia and the rest of Siberia? Just saying. <laughs> he took off in the pump trolley? Wow. Yeah, I've only seen a pump trolley in, like, cartoons. I don't think I've ever actually seen a real-life one. He's gonna pump his way? from Vladivostok all the way to Moscow? Like, I don't think that's gonna happen, but sure. He does have the power of anger on his side. We all know how that, how powerful that is. Okay, so let's just uh, get going. I like this music. It's nice, it's adventurous, it's upbeat, it's fun. You know, I really wish that there were more real-world RPGs. Like, even Earthbound, to me, isn't real-world, you know? But this one, where they actually have, you know, they use the world map, and they actually have place names and stuff like that, I really like it. This game, Terranigma, Nostalgia. That's, I guess, Illusion of Gaia, but that's not really even real-world enough for me. Um, but this is, it's, it's really fun. I like it. I really wish that they did more with this kind of real-world RPG genre. And don't, don't mention Western RPGs to me because I hate them. And yeah, no. <laughs> oh, okay. Probably not! She's probably a dog! Just saying. Oh. Um, nah, I'm good. Yeah, so if you want to save here, you can. Um, I'm not going to. It's fine. Hey there. Mm, tears of happiness? Tears of joy, maybe? Could you, like, get in there sometime this century? Oh. It has been, what did they say, like, three years since the train actually departed? Or it could have been since 1999. I don't know. It could have been ten years. Oh, yeah. Foreshadowing! Oh, huh. Oh, sorry. Yeah, the last time that we got scolded for that was, like, way back in the hometown. Ugh, we're not traveling with you. Don't get the wrong idea. We just came in to talk to you. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Why are you here? Can't I just leave you back in East Asia? You really have to follow me west too? Oh, you're so annoying. You're annoying, but I kind of like you. I kind of have a love-hate relationship with Batty. <laughs> okay, here we can go ahead and buy a railroad bun, so we'll do that. Oh, okay. 
Oh, um, I guess so. Uh, sure. So, what we actually have to do now is go all the way back to our particular cabin and sleep. We don't sleep with the guy who's like, hey, do you want to save? Not him. We have to go into our cabin to, um, continue on with the, uh, with the story. Continue with life. Okay. Oh, we're, we're dreaming. Yeah. I remember this. It feels like such, it feels like a lifetime ago since this happened. Oh yeah, summer vacation. Such a fun time. I remember my summer vacations. I would, um, you know, we had a neighborhood pool and we would pretty much just me and the, my brother and the rest of all the kids, we would go down to the pool and spend, God, <laughs> from sun up till sun down, uh, they're hanging out. There was a stream that uh, rolled by and there was some blackberry brambles over there. We would go picking blackberries. There was some tennis courts around. We would play tennis and stuff. Um, like it was just a, a very small subdivision that I grew up in. It was only 44 houses. Um, and the closest store was probably 10 miles away. So it's not like you could walk anywhere and go shopping or anything. And that store, it was a gas station with a farm stand in the parking lot. Um, a lot of the times when my mother didn't want to go all the way to the grocery store, which was like 20 something miles away, we would go to the gas station and go grocery shopping and she would buy, you know, milk and cheese. They had a little bit of meat there, not really much. It was more like cured meat and stuff. Um, but she would go to the farm stand and they had fresh fruits and vegetables there sold by the local farmers and stuff. Yeah, whenever I, whenever I tell you that I grew up in Georgia, like in the middle of nowhere, you have no idea how much middle of nowhere it actually was. But it was nice. It was like a really idyllic childhood, I've got to say. You know, everybody was just, it was just, it was nice. It was kind, you know. I enjoyed it. Oh, it was all a dream. A nice dream, though. It wasn't a nightmare! It was a great dream! Good reminiscing about my childhood, too. Oh. Oh. But what? Oh, yeah. Whoa! What in the world's that? I don't know. Oh, do we have to actually go and check on it? Because you can't actually get off of your ass and look? Yeah. But what is that noise? Find out next time on Let's Play God. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And stick around for the end slate where we're going to read Shirase's notes. Have a good day.